tropical storm warnings uh, have been uh, put out for the entire east coast of Florida is moving uh, to the north northeast at 14 miles an hour with maximum sustained winds of 105 miles an hour. Helene is gaining strength that is a, as it approaches the Florida Big Bend. A large eye has become apparent in the hurricane in satellite imagery, and that feature has been gradually clearing out over the past few hours. This hurricane uh, is picking up speed and has turned slightly to the north-northeast. Residents in the area uh, to rush to completion for all preparations in the hurricane warning area. The Hurricane Center has also emphasized that Helene is a very large system. In fact, they are comparing the system with previous hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico over the past couple of decades. Helene is at the upper boundary in terms of its size, according to the National Hurricane Center. As a result, uh, anticipated storm surge, wind, and rainfall impacts will extend far away from its center, which is about 400 miles wide, and well outside the forecast cone, particularly on the east side of the storm. We should be, uh, and there's a good view right at the limb of the earth of the uh, eye of Helene, which is currently uh, currently moving to the north-northeast at about 14 miles an hour, expected to make landfall along Florida's Big Bend region late tonight into the overnight hours of Friday. And a better view now of the eye of Helene. Again, uh, against the limb of the Earth, the International Space Station is uh, currently uh, passing uh, just to the east of the storm, moving from southwest to northeast, traveling five miles a second. Once again, against the limb of the Earth, Hurricane Helene from external cameras on the International Space Station. The station will pass out of range of this system within uh, the next couple of minutes. The system is uh, one of the larger systems ever to form in the Gulf of Mexico as it moves uh, in a north-northeasterly direction, expected to make landfall in the Florida Big Bend region late tonight into the overnight hours of Friday before it tracks up uh, western Georgia and uh, begins